Okay, good morning. We shall start now our lecture. Uh, today we shall discuss on uh, terpenoids or isoprenoids. Uh, it is a, a lecture six uh, uh, of your course BTL 530. And uh, you know that uh, terpenoids are the largest group of secondary metabolites produced by different organisms, uh, including plants. The name terpenoids or isoprenoids uh, comes from, uh, uh, you know, uh, the first discovery of uh, a natural product, uh, turpentine from the distillate of a tree resin. Uh, and it is the first members uh, of the class uh, uh, of the terpenoid. And isoprenoid, since isoprene is the basic unit of C5 uh, building, uh, uh, so all the compounds of, uh, uh, you know, terpenoids, they have the unit of C5 building block. So terpenoids, a uh, common biosynthetic origin from isopentenyl and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphates, Generally, they are lipophilic uh, uh, plant oils, but uh, not only plants, other organisms can also produce uh, terpenoids. Uh, in plants, leaf glandular trichomes, bud exudates, bark resins, they are basically terpenoid, uh, contains terpenoidal compounds. And uh, you know, flavonoids, aromatics, keratinoids, chlorophylls, uh, these uh, as, uh, are also uh, other, uh, uh, you know, uh, metabolites. But uh, uh, terpenoids mimic insect growth hormone. Some of the terpenoids include cardiac glycosides, which affect the heart of the uh, insect and other organisms. And they are basically toxic to most of the fungi and insects. This is why they have the, uh, you know, uh, how to say, medicinal principle, physiologically they are uh, active. So uh, the biogenic, uh, uh, yes, uh, the biogenic uh, isoprene rule is, uh, this is the skeleton, uh, isoprene. All, uh, you know, terpenoidal compound uh, contains a uh, unit of uh, this isoprene. For example, limonene, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it contains two unit of isoprene, limonene. Limonene is produced by lemon, uh, 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 the uh, aromatic compound, terpenoidal compound present in lemon. Uh, the famous uh, scientist, the Leopold Rogica, who got Nobel Prize in Chemistry in uh, 1910 uh, 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 defined a, a terpenoidal compound. A compound is an isoprenoid or terpenoid if it is derived biologically from an isoprenoid, that is this isoprene. Uh, skeleton with or without rearrangement. This structure uh, unit may be rearranged or arranged. But anyway, uh, compound uh, of uh, terpenoid contains this unit and it was uh, proposed and hypothesized by Leopold Rogica who got the Nobel Prize uh, in chemistry. So the terpenoids uh, of plant origins, uh, let us uh, uh, they, they can be volatile or non-volatile. Uh, for example, uh, fragrance or uh, flavor or scent in the leaves or flowers, they are basically terpenoidal compound. Many antibiotics uh, used in the uh, commercially, uh, in pharmaceutical industry, they are terpenoidal compounds. Hormones, uh, many hormones are terpenoidal compounds, membrane lipids, terpenoidal compounds, insect attractant, some of them attract insects, especially the aromatic compounds. Uh, insect antipedent, stop feeding uh, uh, of, the, by the in, uh, uh, of plants by the insects. 
and uh, terpenoid compounds, uh, mediate the electron transport processes, especially the uh, quinones, uh, plastoquinones and others. So they are involved in respiration and photosynthesis of the plant. So very important. Terpenoids, uh, in case of plant, uh, they are very, uh, uh, you know, uh, important uh, defense compounds uh, as well as compounds for communication. For example, uh, this is a plant uh, uh, in the, you see, above ground and below ground, uh, both cases, for example, above ground, uh, some terpenoids are attracted. Uh, for example, fragrance of the flowers uh, attract the uh, uh, pollinator uh, insects uh, and other organisms uh, which are beneficial for the plant. Above ground, there are some terpenoids which help plants to protect themselves from the uh, attack of other organisms. So uh, those terpenoids are uh, repellents, antifidants, predator attraction. Predator are beneficial insects, those are harmful for other, uh, you know, um, uh, insect pests. So uh, predators are attracted by the uh, some uh, volatile uh, terpenoids and some non-volatile terpenoids are antifidants or like that. So if we consider the below ground, uh, some terpenoids are attracted and uh, attractant of, uh, you know, different beneficial microorganisms or insects. And, uh, and some are, uh, you know, antimicrobial, antifidant of uh, insects. So uh, plants uh, uh, can communicate with the beneficial organisms through the terpenoids as well as plant defend themselves from the attack of uh, other uh, herbivores and microorganisms uh, to protect themselves uh, by using uh, the terpenoids. So terpenoids, uh, this uh, uh, scheme for probably I have uh, shown you before, terpenoids are biosynthesized from uh, different uh, pathways. Uh, mevalonic acid pathway uh, is one of the important uh, pathway which uh, originate from the acetyl CoA. Uh, uh, acetyl CoA is the starting point of TCA cycle, you know very well. And uh, there are some other uh, biosynthetic, uh, you know, uh, details of the uh, terpenoid we shall discuss late, later on. Polyketides, some polyketides can be converted into complex terpenoids. Uh, so these are the root of uh, terpenoid biosynthesis in the, especially in the plant. Uh, there are several mixed origins of terpenoids. Uh, uh, here, uh, 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 the uh, schematic pathway is shown. Uh, for example, geranyl, uh, geranyl pyrophosphate, uh, 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 as well as uh, phytyl uh, uh, pyrophosphate. These are the uh, root of biosynthesis of uh, some uh, terpenoid like uh, alpha. Atocopherol or alpha atocotrienol. So, uh, terpenoid mixed origin can be uh, uh, involved in uh, biosynthesis of terpenoid. So, here methylation, cyclization, and uh, uh, again methylation can be taken place to convert this compound uh, to the, uh, uh, the uh, you know, the, the monotherpenes. So uh, let us discuss a little bit uh, and precisely uh, the uh, basic classification of terpenoid. Um, terpenoid can be classified into several groups. For example, hemiterpenes. Hemiterpenes contain only one uh, unit of isoprene, uh, C5. Uh, this is why uh, compound contains only five carbon. Uh, on the other hand, monoterpenes, uh, the example is limonene, uh, contains two, uh, uh, you know, isoprene unit. This is why uh, total carbon in the structure is 10. Uh, sesquiterpene, 15, like abscisic acid. Abscisic acid, you know very well, uh, it is a 
have uh, you know plant hormone uh, so it is uh, also a terpenoidal compound sesquiterpene uh, diterpene uh, contains c uh, uh, 20 carbon 20 carbon containing compound like gibberellin this is another uh, uh, plant hormone very famous plant hormone uh, similarly try uh, terpene uh, the, uh, here is a spelling mistake. Uh, it should be tri uh, tarpene, B E N E. So it uh, contains uh, uh, 30 carbon. Uh, for example, brassinosteroids. Brassinosteroids are also, uh, uh, you know, uh, phytohormones uh, uh, and very uh, strong influence in plant growth. Uh, Tetra tarpenes uh, contain C40. Uh, uh, that is carbon uh, number uh, in the structure 40. Uh, keratinoids, different keratinoids uh, present in the, for example, carrot. Uh, and uh, there are some other uh, compounds uh, in the terpenoids which has a carbon number higher than uh, 40. They are called poly polyterpenes or uh, Meru uh, uh, terpenes, so uh, the, uh, uh, also important uh, plant hormone vitamin E, uh, also uh, you know Meru terpene. So this is a simplified classification of terpenoidal compound based on the uh, structure, uh, you know, uh, uh, structural variation of the isoprene unions. So monoterpene, there are lots of, you know, example, for example, menthol or uh, carbon or linalol. Uh, the, uh, so what is important for you? You need to um, memorize one chemical structure uh, for each group of terpenoid. No need to uh, memorize the chemical structure of all. Uh, similarly, sesquiterpene, um, uh, here is the you know different sesquiterpenes high how they are uh, biosynthesized and uh, diterpenes uh, and uh, triterpenoids uh, here uh, uh, lots of structures uh, but these are not I, a bit hazy anyway I shall uh, give you the original slide you can find it uh, uh, triterpenoids triterpenoids lots of triterpenoids are uh, produced by the cucurbitaceae BTC plant. Tetraterpenoid, most important is uh, keratinoids, uh, different kinds of keratinoids uh, like beta carotene uh, present in the uh, carrot, uh, very famous. Uh, uh, so uh, these are the all uh, keratinoids, uh, tetraterpenoidal uh, compound uh, in nature. Uh, how uh, the terpenoids are biosynthesized. I showed you a little bit before, but uh, they are uh, mostly biosynthesized through two pathways. One is mevalonate uh, pathway leading to uh, isopentenyl uh, pyrophosphate in the cytosol of the uh, uh, cell. And another one is uh, uh, the methyl erythritol uh, uh, phosphate pathway leading to uh, isopentenyl pyrophosphate uh, in the plastic. So in plant, uh, in the cytosol, uh, mevalonate pathway is active for synthesis of uh, terpenoid and in plastics, uh, uh, you know, uh, methyl uh, erythritol uh, phosphate pathway leading to the, uh, you know, terpenoid biosynthesis. So terpenoids or isoprenoids are a family of compounds. What we understood so far uh, uh, within this time, the terpenoids and isoprenoids are a family of compounds with great structural diversity, which are essential for all living organisms, not only plant or uh, all organisms uh, uh, require uh, terpenoid. In cyanobacteria, uh, they are synthesized uh, from the methyl erythritol uh, uh, phosphate uh, pathway using uh, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. You know, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is a primary metabolite uh, 
uh, uh, which is uh, produced through the photosynthetic process uh, and pyruvate produced by photosynthesis as substrates. So these are the substrates uh, used uh, in the met uh, you know, methyl erythritol uh, phosphate pathway to synthesis of the uh, terpenoidal compound. Uh, so terpenoid uh, here uh, in the cytosol, here in the plastid, uh, one is mevalonate, uh, another is, uh, you know, methyl erythritol uh, phosphate. They are involved in biosynthesis of the uh, terpenoid here briefly, it is shown. So uh, there are uh, three reactions taken place, major three reactions taken place uh, during the uh, biosynthesis of terpenoid, uh, generating a precursor by uh, prenyl transferases. Uh, different prenyl uh, transferases are involved in uh, generation of the precursor like uh, uh, GPP or uh, giranil uh, pyrophosphate, panacyl pyrophosphate, FPP or giranil giranil uh, pyrophosphate. Uh, Tarpinoid synthase uh, uh, also uh, involved in the reaction uh, uh, for synthesis of uh, you know, monotherpene as or monotherpene synthase or monotherpene cyclase, uh, terpene synthase. These are the um, basic uh, and uh, um, enzymes involved in synthesis of terpenoids. So, phenyl transferases, terpene synthase, uh, monotherpene synthase, cyclase, these are the enzymes uh, uh, involved in uh, the biosynthetic pathway. Uh, you know, in biosynthetic pathway, every step uh, of uh, 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 biochemical reaction uh, needs uh, uh, a, an enzyme. And there are some modi modification steps also, uh, cyclization and other, uh, you know, cyclic structure production and other uh, ways structure is modified. So here uh, we can see how, how uh, biosynthesis of uh, precursors taken place uh, uh, by uh, prenyl transferases uh, in the uh, cytosol. Uh, here you can see IPP and DMAP, uh, how uh, these two uh, combines and phenacyl uh, diphosphate synthase produce the phenacyl diphosphate. And this is one uh, important precursor of uh, arsenic, uh, 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 terpenoid biosynthesis. In the plastid IPP and DMAPP, uh, they are combined and giranyl diphosphate synthase work on it and uh, synthesize the giranyl diphosphate. And this giranyl diphosphate, phenacyl diphosphate, they are the uh, precursor of uh, terpene biosynthesis. So terpene cyclase, uh, uh, another enzyme, uh, as I mentioned before, one enzyme, it works on one substrate and multiple products can be produced. Uh, this is a, a very powerful enzyme in terpene biosynthesis. Uh, Monotherpene uh, and sesquiterpene, how they are biosynthesized is shown here. Uh, when you uh, have time, please go through in detail. Uh, different uh, uh, terpenoid uh, are biosynthesized. Here you can see paclitaxel. Uh, one of the very powerful anti-cancer compound uh, is terpenoidal compound and it is biosynthesized uh, through this complex uh, pathway. So diterpene and triterpenoids, uh, leaf of cucumber, I mentioned that cucurbitacy plant contains lots of uh, uh, triterpenoids and mysas persisi uh, uh, loves uh, diterpenoids and sucks from the leaves. So uh, production in uh, plants, uh, especially in plants, uh, terpenoids are stored in glandular trichomes, especially in the labiate like uh, mentha or cannabis plants. Uh, in some plants like eucalyptus, citrus, they are deposited in the cavities. So eucalyptus leaf or lemon leaf, if you crush in the cavity, uh, they are deposited and they are stored and they are coming out, you can get the strong uh, aroma. Uh, resin ducts, uh, pine trees, they are uh, deposited or stored uh, in the 
uh, resin duct uh, and there are uh, uh, some uh, uh, beneficial uh, uh, you know uh, insects especially in case of plants uh, fruit aroma leaves aroma or flowers uh, aroma are uh, they attract beneficial uh, uh, you know uh, insects uh, so uh, these turbinoids are uh, working as a, a tool for communication with the uh, friends of the plant most secondary metabolites in basil you know the basil leaves uh, are medicinally very important and they are produced in the pelted plain uh, in the pelted gland in the basil leaves surface this type of gland like uh, glandular trichomes this glandular uh, trichome uh, in the uh, uh, contained stored uh, lots of you know carpenoidal compounds so this structure has already been studied uh, in detail. Uh, here is the, uh, you know, uh, photograph of uh, basil, uh, sweet basil plant. And here, uh, the scanning electron micrographs showing uh, the pelted uh, gland or tri glandular trichomes present on the basil uh, leaves. And they are, uh, uh, you know, filled in uh, different carpenoidal compounds compound. So carpenoidal compound can be subclassified uh, uh, as follows here uh, in the table uh, with some examples. Uh, uh, carpenoidal class, uh, for example, monotarpenoids, uh, volatile essential oil constituents, they are the main description of the monotarpenoids. Iridoids, another group of carpenoidal sub class of carpenoidal compounds. Beta testing lectrons, usually in glycosidic form. Sesquitarpenoids, higher boiling essential oil constituents. Sesquitarpene lectrons, uh, lectron ring uh, present in some sesquitarpene, they are called lectron, uh, sesquitarpene lectrons. Uh, characteristic of the family composite. Uh, Diterpenoids, resin acids, and gibberellins, they are diterpenoids, and triterpenoids, saponins, uh, another group is uh, terpenoids, but they are contain the saponin uh, uh, moiety. Uh, so, hemolytic glycosides, steroids, saponins, another uh, 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 subclass of terpenoids, hemolytic glycosides, uh, cardenolides, and uh, bufadinolides, heart poison, and toxin. A heart poison, uh, some compounds, cardinolides and bufadinolides, uh, you know, are uh, physiologically active uh, in the heart muscles and they are very powerful toxic to stop the heart activity or like that. In case of insect, uh, it has already been proven. Uh, phytos, uh, phytosterols, they are also uh, one uh, present in membrane constituent of the cell phytosterols, uh, so they are also terpenoids. Cucurbitacin, cucurbitacin uh, is a, uh, a very a powerful uh, defensive compound of uh, cucurbitacin plant, bitter principle. Sometimes if you take a cucumber uh, fruit, you can find bitter test or even uh, some other cucurbitacin plant due to presence of higher content of cucurbitacin, they uh, test beta, especially uh, of the cucurbitacin, jinga, uh, sometimes jinga uh, uh, vegetable uh, test beta due to presence of uh, higher content of cucurbitacin. Not try uh, terpenoids, uh, limon uh, limonoids and quasinoids and other terpenoids, lupines, happens, and arsenes, these are other terpenoids, keratinoids, you know, yellow or red pigments like beta carotene. So this is another, uh, you know, sub-classification of the terpenoids uh, with a brief description. So uh, this is uh, uh, all about uh, today's uh, lecture. Uh, and uh, uh, if you have a question, uh, let us uh, discuss uh, uh, more detail. Uh, so please ask your question.
sir this is adur uh, yes adur please i ask you a question sir uh, my question is sir, what are the drawback of um, terpenoids mm. uh, what does it uh, you mean drawback means it is a, a secondary uh, metabolites some of them are you know very useful compound uh, uh, as a, you know uh, in, uh, medicine pharmaceutical uh, product uh, or uh, agrochemicals or uh, you know uh, they are being used in the perfume industry so they are very useful uh, the for the producer they are obviously beneficial uh, drawbacks uh, if you consider some terpenoids are very toxic uh, for example, a beta test in the cucurbitaceae, in like cucumber fruit. Uh, so uh, if you take uh, uh, more uh, cucurbitaceae, they are very toxic uh, for the health. So this can be a drawback. What does uh, you mean? I am not sure. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Next. Sir, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Sir, Muaj. Ah, Muaj, please. Sir, I have a question about uh, terpenoids present in the uh, plants that are usually used in herbal medicine. Yes. Sir, sir, in uh, we when we uh, learn today the postal plant and eucalyptus and many other plants contain uh, numerous terpenoids. Yeah. Sir, sir, in herbal medicine the uh, in same time or uh, nowadays, uh, the herbal medicine use the plants directly or uh, the plant parts directly, or they uh, produce medicines from the plant parts. So, if it's possible to uh, uh, to yeah, elucidate the chemical structure of terpenoids present in the plants, so is, is, is it possible to? Um, make them chemically or uh, industrially in the laboratory. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, in case of herbal uh, medicine, uh, usually they use, you know, uh, extracted uh, uh, materials which contains uh, not only the uh, active uh, compound, but also uh, other, uh, you know, secondary metabolites as well as other compounds, uh, metabolites are present there. So they are used in a crude form. Uh, obviously, uh, through a chemical study, as now we know most of the uh, principle of the herbal medicine and based on the, uh, our understanding uh, of the chemical basis of the function of herbal medicine, many uh, you know, modern medicine have been discovered. So you can uh, easily synthesize uh, 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 most of the uh, terpenoids in the laboratory and you can make tablet or uh, other oil paint or something like that. Uh, terpenoids are, you know, a powerful painkiller. Uh, sometimes uh, you can find in the market some ointment, uh, terpenoid ointment, uh, uh, you know, which is very good for, uh, you know, headache uh, or, uh, you know, if uh, people suffer from cold, uh, then uh, those terpenoids, strong aroma uh, uh, can be used, ointment can be used uh, to uh, get relief from the cold as well as, uh, you know, uh, the headache uh, or other pain. So uh, synthesis of the molecules and use them uh, uh, as, as a specific active gradient, ingredient is uh, the target of modern medicine. But sometimes, you know, complex mixture uh, is good because uh, we do not know the synergistic uh, activity of different compounds present in the mixture uh, in the herbal medicine. Sometimes it is good and less, uh, you know, uh, chance of getting the uh, tolerance uh, or resistance as well as uh, sometimes it is uh, giving you some other benefits uh, as, uh, you know, uh, complex mixture uh, contains multiple uh, physiologically active compounds. Thank you. Sir, is there any chance of uh, 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 becoming toxic of uh, uh, a complex mixture of terpenoids from 
Yeah. E yes, yes, there is a chance because uh, uh, you are not 100% sure uh, which compound is active. Uh, as a result, if uh, uh, the dose is not appropriate, uh, sometimes it can be toxic. Uh, but uh, uh, it depends uh, 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 which, uh, what type of materials are you using. In case of modern medicine, the side effect uh, of all the uh, you know, uh, pure ingredient used in the uh, tablet or capsule or uh, syrup or other form ha uh, have thoroughly been studied and defined uh, which receptor are involved in binding or like that. But in case of crude uh, mixture, uh, in most cases, uh, we have little knowledge about the mechanism of action. This is why there is a chance of, uh, you know, uh, unknown uh, side effect uh, uh, from the uh, crude mixture of herbal uh, drugs. Any more question? Assalamu alaikum, sir Saiful. Ah, yes, Saiful. Sir, some volatile substance. Uh, secret, uh, volatile terpenoids are here. Uh, is uh, these volatile substance terpenoids are attack? Uh, volatile substance secrets for pollinators uh, or another purpose? Volatile substances uh, produced by any organism, uh, they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, secreted for the benefit of the producer because you know any uh, a compound uh, pr uh, production of any compound synthesis of any compound is costly so volatile compounds mostly uh, uh, produced for a certain purpose for example plant flower fragrance as uh, a, a, you know diffuse through the uh, air and attract the uh, insect uh, and insect, especially two types of insects are, are targeted by the plant. One uh, group is uh, which is involved in uh, and emit to attract the uh, uh, friend uh, 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 to get the benefit uh, from the friend. But sometimes, you know, uh, enemy also use uh, volatile uh, substances uh, as a clue to find the a host or attack uh, the uh, host. So uh, through the uh, co-evolutionary process, uh, there are uh, you know many mysterious uh, things happen. But most of the volatile compounds, they are uh, beneficial for the producer. They use for the communication uh, as well as uh, for the you know. Uh, 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 as well as uh, for the defense also. Some volatile compounds are uh, toxic for the uh, herbivores or toxic for the other uh, organisms uh, which are enemy of the uh, producer. So uh, two purposes, one protection, another uh, is uh, you know, to communicate with the uh, uh, friends uh, uh, or you know, partners uh, 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 for mating or like that, uh, the producer uh, synthesize the volatile compounds, terpenoidal compounds, for their own benefit. Any any other question? Assalamualaikum, sir. Fazlur Abi. Yes, Fazlur Abi. Uh, I have a question. May we use alkaloid or terpenoid? Agnes, Agnes rice blast or wheat blast pathogen for establish sustainable agriculture. Is it possible, sir? Uh, you mean whether we can use, can we use a terpenoidal compound to uh, uh, protect wheat plant from the wheat blast? Yes, sir. Wheat blast or rice blast? Or rice blast, yes. Uh, 
Yes, uh, 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 on principle, uh, it may be possible, but uh, you have to discover uh, which terpenoidal compounds are toxic for the wheat blast and rice blast. Uh, there are, you know, uh, several thousands of uh, terpenoidal compounds have been discovered and hundreds of thousands of terpenoidal compounds pre uh, produces by uh, plant still unknown and uh, not yet discovered. So if you can discover a right terpenoidal compound, which is toxic for the, uh, you know, uh, magna porte orisi, that is, uh, the pathogen of uh, rice and wheat blast, but not toxic for the wheat or rice, then it, it would be a nice, you know, biopesticide or biofungicide uh, against the uh, blast fungus, and uh, it would obviously be useful for sustainable agriculture. So, uh, till uh, today, uh, uh, we, uh, we have no information that which terpenoid is very effective in inhibiting or suppressing the uh, blast fungus. So it is uh, necessary to do uh, research, uh, bioassay guided screening of plant extract. Next. Any more question? Do you have any more uh, question? If you have uh, no question, then I shall, uh, you know, end the meeting uh, today. That is uh, today's lecture. Uh, and uh, I wish all of you safe and healthy stay in this pandemic and uh, try to enjoy uh, the bioactive natural products. Uh, which is very interesting and fascinating subject. And uh, one, uh, I shall give you, one tip is I shall give you uh, 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 one assignment through your Facebook group. So try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, do that assignment uh, in the weekend. And uh, um, hopefully, if you browse uh, internet, uh, Google, you can find lots of information regarding the are terpenoid, they are biosynthesis. So to expand your own knowledge and not only limit yourself for the uh, uh, lecture, uh, you should uh, explore more knowledge uh, uh, which are available uh, in different literatures uh, 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 in the internet. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a, a nice day.